It's Sim Judging Time, and I'm your host, Sim and Cal. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey. I'm single, so we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they are supposed to have 100 children, all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge, so if you're interested in those, the link will be below. Now, I believe we are currently at 69 babies and it's time to start looking for some new blood. So I'm going to be checking out the gallery today. Make sure to keep uploading your Sims and houses to the gallery using hashtag 100babys3 in the gallery for me to see them. Without further ado, let's get in the game and see what you made. So let's start with the gallery here. We're gonna use hashtag 100babys3. Let's start judging these Sims. Oh my gosh, this guy, attractive, a mermaid has a tiny dog. Is this aliens, vampires, and wizards already in the Peachishmay family? Why not a mermaid? Who wouldn't want a baby from this handsome, dog-loving dude? We're definitely gonna save it to our library. Welcome, Wanho MX. This guy's named James. Cute, nerdy, romantic boy next door to pique Kelly's interest. Oh, we love a boy next door. He's great, we love him. A nerd, she's gonna eat him alive. <laughs> Saving to a library. Pendragon, <gasps> Merlin, Arthur, and Gwen of Camelot. <laughs> Merlin's so skinny. Are they wizards? Oh my gosh, so Merlin's a wizard, but obviously the other two are. This cracks me up. I'm gonna get a heart for that one. That's great, Ashmo. Thank you for the for the giggles. Do, 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 do. Ooh, hello. Look at his eyes. They are peering into my very soul. Tay, his name's Tay. Tay doesn't care who you are, where you're from, what you did, as long as you're doing a 100 baby challenge. I'm sorry it's been a long day. <laughs> Low Helix, I love Tay. I want Tay to be one of our first. Who's this? Miguel Diaz and Carlos Diaz. Carlos and Miguel are twins, but couldn't be more different. I love this intro already. Miguel likes sport and Carlos is all about art. One thing in common though, they both would do anything for the women they love. Casey's kind of the type to use them and lose them, you know, so I feel bad for these boys. They're <laughs> in for a treat. This one's called Team Jacob. Who would want a creep stalker like Edward? Why would you be pushing your anti-Edward propaganda in my show? But also I'm downloading him because <laughs> he's hot. Ooh, Disney princesses. All right, okay. Wow, lots of Disney princesses for Case, uh, Kelly oh my God. to get with. Casey dated many princes, but maybe Kelly drifts more towards princesses. Love that! Hot singles in your area. This reminds me of Blackpink, and I love that. If you're a blink, make sure to comment below. Jason Momoa! I love how so many of you are now submitting like celebrities. Ever wish to take a dip with Aquaman and get down and dirty with Cal Drogo? <laughs> These descriptions are sending me. I love them. Matthew, thank you for Jason Momoa bringing him into our lives. Ooh, Puckett! Jessa is a hopeless romantic who wants love from anyone. Her androgynous style is how she expresses herself. We love it. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you, Dancer9. We got, oh, Mutt Rivers, Ekrim Kosha, Cedric St. Martin. They all have such interesting names. Zen Lu and Alvaro Swan. The international pack, Bollywood actor. Oh my God, he's a Bollywood actor. No wonder he's gorgeous and he's a rising star. He might be a little out of our league, but we can go for it. Regardless, I love that you made me an international pack. It sounds a little sus international pack, but I do love the diversity and variety of these Sims. Oh my God, the cast of the TV show Friends. We got Phoebe. Oh, that is a dead on Phoebe Buffet. R Ross is dead on. Whoa, you are really good at making Sims. These are dead on blessed combo. I'm downloading. Oh, they can all get Ka Ka Cassie pregnant. Kelly's Avengers, Thor, Tony Stark, Carol Danvers, Steve Rogers, Wanda, and Goose. The Hunter Baby season three is end game and we are so excited to watch. Oh, Sid, thank you for that. That's very sweet. BTS. <sighs> What's up, Army? <laughs> Jungkook is in it. 
Would it be terrible to try to have a baby with every member of BTS? Or would it be great to try to have a baby with every member of BTS? Lizzie, she's just cute. Like, can we just be best friends with her? Oh my gosh, cheerful and confident young woman who loves fashion and expressing herself creatively. Elizabeth is looking for a fun, loving partner who takes risks. Will your matriarch be the one for her? I also realize that my characters never have friends. So maybe Elizabeth, we want to stay in our life longer and Lizzie will be a friend of ours. What about this girl? She's cute, Bryn Somner. This is the sim I used for my playthrough of the 100 Baby Challenge. After making some alterations, thought I would upload her to the gallery for Kelly to seduce. That is so funny. Jolene, thank you for sharing. Roxana, oh, she cute. That is a really attractive sim. I'm like stunned right now. Great, okay, everybody's moved in. Let's go back into our home. We'll go out. Hopefully we'll meet some. The baby making begins. All right, Kelly's here in her cute little cold weather look with of course Holden and Peach Schmee, who's a teen. He's an average B student. He doesn't have a skill up or his homework started and he needs to eat. Henry and Peach Schmee, of course. An excellent B student finished all his stuff so he's good to go. Josie, oh my gosh, Josie and Peach Schmee and Cove, aww. And then we got, of course, the new two babies, Delilah and Daniel. Wait, does that mean that we've actually had, we have actually 71 babies. Oh, actually, you know what? I've been asked for a couple people to check out the family tree, so let's look at it. Kelly has had four kids so far, great. We got Chelsea, so Chelsea had this many. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Ah, oh my gosh. And then of course there's Casey, who then had this many. <laughs> And then there's Kelly, who's a sorcery. Look at this. This is a crazy looking family tree. This is like 73, I believe, Sims. Oh my God, look, it's Wesley and Peach Schmee, who's deceased. He died by embarrassment. He has not come out. We need to get Wesley to come out as a ghost. We need to strengthen connection to the physical world. Holden's doing his homework even though he's uncomfortable and sad. Why is he sad? Oh, because we someone died. Now she's eaten, so she needs to sleep. Oh, she just passed out. Well, Holden's doing his homework even though I didn't ask him to. Oh, but he needs to use the toilet and have fun. Well, you want fun, I've got news for you. But you can do a little workout dance video after that, which will be fun for you and active. So I love that. Oh wait, a baby's upset. Delilah. All right, let's coo at Delilah. Coo at Delilah. Holden is learning some fit dance moves. Yes, Holden. Get it, Holden. Harry, what are you doing? He's watching TV in the fitness room. Okay, he wanted to be alone. Have a quick meal of a sandwich as well. I know, they're all so sad because of the passing of their brother. How are you Holden? Holden's not holding it down, to be honest. He's crying while he's being active. All right, buddy, go to school. He is so tired. Henry, study hard. Holden, have a good day at school. Oh, we need to take care of Cove and Josie. Okay, all right, they're downstairs, they're hungry. Let's see if there's any food for them. And there isn't. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, Casey, you gotta go, or Kelly, ah! You gotta go cook some salads for everybody. Ooh, it looked like a, during free time, Henry drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It caused a lot of giggling. It disrupted the rest of the school day. Uh, we encourage creativity here in the Abhijish May House. I feel like Kelly's gonna be like, nice! <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like, I have not had any fun and I'm very tired. Welcome to motherhood, Kelly. Oh my gosh, the Landrum Power Company have shut the power off of your house. Pay your bills to get turned back on. Oh no. Okay, we have not paid our bills and there's children crying. Oh my gosh, Kelly is the hottest mess I think I've ever had on the 100 Baby Challenge. Now we've got one child taken care of. Delilah needs food, so let's feed Delilah. Why is Delilah always in trouble? Okay, please pay your bills, Kelly, so that the land grabs will turn your lights back on. Oh my gosh, she's gonna pass out because she's so tired. We need help. Hold it, you need to age up. Oh my gosh, nightmare. What do you want? What is wrong? Oh my gosh, they're both upset. They need talking to? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Henry's grades are up and Holden's still a B, but at least Henry's grades are up so Henry can have his birthday. It's a birthday for Henry. Henry, it's your birthday. You're a birthday boy. You're gonna be a teen now, Henry. All right, blow out the candles, Henry. The last redhead of the Peter Schmidt family to age up at the moment. 
he is outgoing, a slob, and pick a number one through 12. Okay, it didn't say it out loud, but it says two. All right, he wants to be a bodybuilder. Henry is like way more polished. I wanted him to be a little punk. I guess he just went through his punky phase. Poor Kelly did not have enough time to go get pregnant today. Why are you asleep in the hot tub, Kelly? Kelly, what the heck? She's like, I wanted to have fun and sleep at the same time. Kelly, go to sleep in your bed, Kelly. Oh, she didn't want to go to sleep in her bed because her baby's crying and she can't sleep. She's level seven of the parenting skill. She can now more effectively solve her kids' motives. She also can more effectively influence her children to perform certain actions. When the background Holden's having a straight meltdown, it is an entire mess and Kelly's doing her best. Oh my gosh, who is this? Jace? Get out, Jace. Oh wait, we, we asked him. I forgot that we told Jace he could come over whenever he wanted to because we wanted Jace to be best friends. It's almost Delilah and Daniel's birthday. Well, good, honestly. She's getting no sleep with them. This girl needs some fun. She needs a break. I want you to travel. You need to go meet some people. Let's go to the Narwhal Arms nightclub. All right, we'll go to a different one than her mom used to always go to. Maybe we'll have like a, a nap really fast while other sims start spawning. Yeah, have a little disco nap. We've got, who's this? Evan Kosha. Oh, I think this is the Bollywood actor. Wait, but this is a B-lister. This is Casey! Oh my gosh! Casey's taking herself on a night on the town. So she's taking her little disco nap. She hasn't had much fun. She needs some snacks, so let's order some food, we'll grab. Let's do fish and chips. Wait, is this Ross from Friends is the bartender? It is Ross Geller is the bartender. Let's have a cheerful introduction to Ross Geller, who's the bartender. Also have to make, attempt an introduction to this celebrity. So Ross will be like our short game, but that guy's our long game, right? Because he's way more popular. We're just gonna introduce ourselves to everyone. Oh my gosh. Did it work? I feel like you should dance because she's a dance machine too. So she's gonna love to dance. She's introducing herself to everybody, being the cool girl that she is. Oh my God, Casey's having a great time. <gasps> Chelsea's here, it's three generations of party goers in the Impeachment Schmay family. They all came out to support her on her first night out meeting her own peeps. Attempting introduction again. I need to make this man our friend. I feel like he's not engaging with us that much. Okay, he let us take a selfie. We're getting that much closer. Ask about his interests again. What are you interested in? Who is it? Jason Momoa is now over there. Is he still not like our friend? How do we, okay, no, we kind of know him. Celebrity acquaintance. Just keep talking to him. We will make this celebrity our first celebrity seduction on the 100 Baby Challenge. Ask for a hug from him. He just gave someone else a hug. No, why doesn't he like us? <gasps> Wait, they have like a bit of flirting, but then he says no for the hug. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I do not know how to seduce celebrities in this game. He looks so over us. Oh, it's like we get one step forward and two steps back. You know what? We should just be funny with Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa won't reject us. Oh wait, there's two Jason Momoas. She's like a little anxious because her hug got rejected by her celebrity crush. August is like, what's up girl? And she's like, I'm doing fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chelsea just haunted. Oh my gosh, wait, she is not making friends. All right, you know what, baby, go home. She's like really bummed out. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Kelly. Everything is a mess today. Whoa, it's Winterfest. Mom needs to sleep. She went out, she was trying to seduce some people. It didn't work out, but it's okay. I have a feeling that Kelly's going to be able to seduce someone very soon. Why don't you send some text messages to some of these people? Send send a little playful text to all the Jason Momoas, to Raphael, uh, playful text, just all of these Sims. Let's go out and have some fun. Oh my gosh, Aquaman is asking her out. So let's say, okay. So we're out with Aquaman Momoa. Let's uh, get to know him. She is so tired. I feel really bad. We're really right on the edge here. Yes. Sit right next to me, Jason. Sit in the snow. This is kind of romantic, honestly. What? Jason Momoa just ghosted her. He just straight left. I cannot believe this. Wow, he just ditched. And now she's asleep on a bench in the snow. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for Kelly. It's okay, Kelly. It's noon on Winterfest. Wait, wait, who is this? <gasps> 
It's Carlos Diaz! It's a Christmas miracle! Oh my gosh, maybe it's gonna be like a Hallmark movie. Like she's the girl that got abandoned on Christmas on her date. And then Carlos walked by with the Santa hat. Share the Winterfest spirit with Carlos. He's gonna be the one that will save Winterfest and save her heart. No, 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 don't run. Why are you running? Where are you running to? Go talk to, to the boy. She's nervous. She has to run away from love. Why is she just standing here? Is he gone? Where'd he go? Why is he over there? No. Where'd he go? No! You know what? We're taking her home. She keeps getting ditched by men out in the cold. It's freezing out here for her. It's a blizzard. She's caught outside in a blizzard. Jason Momoa took her to a bunch of ruins and abandoned her in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> Someone's not getting a Winterfest card. You know what, Kelly? Why don't you dance with your child, all right? Nice and warm at home. Get your dance on. Henry is teaching Josie. This is so cute. What's this? What's this, Josie? A question mark. Josie's level two already of thinking. Heck yeah, Josie. It's a pan. Think tangled. Honestly, we need to decorate for a Winterfest for the family. Go go decorate for the holiday. I think you're gonna enjoy that. Ray, look at that. I don't know where they came from, but here we are. We're gonna put them right here. Oh, there's two of them. All right, we'll put one right here too. Look at how festive it is. Why don't you cook a grand meal, a ham dinner for Christmas? We need to cheer you up, my girl. You're bummer town USA right now, and I do not enjoy it. Who do we want to invite? I mean, Ryder is our father, so we should invite Ryder over for Christmas fest. We should invite Carlos Diaz because he looks so cute. And then we should invite Casey over too. Let's invite all of those over for Christmas. Casey, did you, or Kelly, did you break something? Oh my gosh, Ryder's here! And so is Carlos Diaz! Why don't you call it a grand meal? Have everybody come to the grand meal. It's Winterfest time. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that Casey's here. Go give Casey residence keys and tell her she's welcome anytime. Say, mom, you're welcome anytime to come over with your husband. Okay, you can't take care of these babies. Step aside, our last matriarch is coming to save the day. She's giving that baby all the attention and love it deserves and taking care of the baby. Aw, and they're bonding with grandma. Kelly is over here chatting up this man. Give him a little belly laugh. It's Winterfest. She's saying, ho, ho, ho. Oh, she's flirting with him. Oh, he's liking it. Okay. Embrace him. Who is this outside in the cold? Nathaniel Zebra. That is not Santa, so we do not care. You're the wrong elderly man to be visiting tonight. There he is. It's Father Winter, Messiah Reed. Hello, Father Winter. Remember how we've always said we would never have baby with Father Winter? Well, Kelly is maybe the type. Give me a present and then give me the present of having a baby. Let's give him a little, a little flirt with Father Winter and see what happens. Casey's also like, you know what? I don't really want to stick around this, so <laughs> confess attraction. Tell him that you're interested. Tell him that you're you're down to clown. <gasps> Father Winter really liked that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, flirt again. He's peering over those spectacles at her. Oh my gosh, she can do a first kiss. And she's gonna get pregnant tonight because she needs to. Kiss him under the mistletoe. How appropriate. Oh, cool. This grosses me out. I don't know why so many of you wanted this to happen. Try for baby in a closet. Hopefully he won't die during woohoo. If he dies during woohoo, we're gonna be a little disappointed to hear it, to be honest. All right, here we go. I don't like it. I don't like it. At first it was funny and then it got it got weird. I cannot believe so many of you wanted me to seduce Father Winter. But Kelly's a wild girl, you know? She was feeling a little lonely. A bunch of men ditched her on Christmas. Father Winter was interested. She is exhausted. He also is tired. Let's find out if she's pregnant. She is. Casey's eating for two. All right, well, Casey's pregnant with Father Winter's children. Felt a little piece of my soul die just then. Your poor baby, she's tired. Everyone's asleep in the Peachish May household. Not a creature was stirring, not even Delilah.
yet. Winterfest is over. Everyone's was pretty successful. Oh, except for Josie and Cove. They did not have great Winterfest, but everyone else had a very good Winterfest. Casey's awake, so why don't we take care of the baby? Casey's, or Kelly's feeling great. She's pregnant. Both of my sweet baby angel boys are getting their homework done. Oh, it's Wesley! He's a ghost! We're so happy you're here. Josie, what are you doing? Finish eating your food. Josie, just eat some food. Eat a salad, please, Josie. Oh my gosh, why won't you eat? You must be bugged out. Please stop not eating your food, okay? Don't make me turn off, oh my gosh. I want you to eat just as much as you want you to eat, but it's not happening and I don't know why. Give food from inventory. Give, give your child food because your child is not eating and I'm worried, I'm worried sick. Finally, Josie's eating something. No, Josie didn't eat it. Josie stuck her hand in it multiple times. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, there's too much drama happening right now. Oh my God, why are my children all monsters? Josie reached movement level two. Good job, Josie. Good job, Josie. Is it because you've been walking back and forth with salads every five seconds? Oh my God, eat it! You know what, I'm saving and I'm restarting this game. I'm so mad. How do you make a toddler eat? Like I wish there was a sim version of hooking up my toddler to an IV. All right, I just restarted the entire game. Let's see if Josie finally eats. Oh my God. Don't give me a toddler lesson. I'll give you a toddler lesson, The Sims. My whole house is going, falling apart. Thank you. Finally, Josie's full. Thank gosh. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if maybe it's just like the parenthood thing. Casey's slower at it because she's lower level or what it is, but this is nuts. His fitness skills almost all the way up. Yes, buddy, let's go push those limits. Heck yeah, fitness level three. Oh, Delilah aged up. Delilah's inquisitive. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have two dark haired babies from Fred. Oh, Danielle is fussy, of course. Oh, they're so cute though. Look at them. Look at our cute little girls. They're twins with this cute little haircut and I love their outfit. I straight up here some tomfoolery and I'm mad. Stop making me replace my stuff, ghosts. I'll kick you out so hard. Don't even think I won't. You think I won't. Okay, Kelly, wake up. Delilah's already level two of imagination. That's fantastic, we love that. And Danielle acquired the communication skill, which is great. Maybe, Harry, you wouldn't be having to mop up if you stopped breaking stuff. Oh my gosh, I just watched you do that, Harry. Why are you going outside? Why are you going outside? This is not a place for you. Oh, my toddlers are awake. Mayday, mayday. You're eating outside alone. Great, amazing. Okay, my boys are going to school. Goodbye, my two beautiful boys. Have fun at school. Kelly, it's your time. You're gonna be potty training Cove, and then you're gonna be potty training Josie, and you're gonna keep doing that until they're ready. What is happening? I just asked you to do a thing and you just looked at your child and then walked away. <laughs> Kelly, woo. Okay, level three skill is done for Cove. She hasn't potty trained any of her children yet and it shows. Josie acquired the potty skill. Josie hadn't even acquired it yet? Oh my gosh, Casey. Kelly, why are you leaving your child on the potty? You're supposed to be potty training the child. You can't just sit him on the potty and then go to bed. That's not how that works, Kelly. Ah, Holden's grades are up. Good job, Holden. As I expected, Holden is aging up right now, which is amazing because now we can have a stay at home kid. I'm a little drowning right now. I need a little bit of help, a little bit of sanity. Maybe when she goes into labor, we'll quickly move him out or something. I don't know. All right, he is jealous. So Holden wants to have a successful lineage. He's active, he's a glutton, and he's jealous. Aw, our Todds are having a little toddler corner, syncing up their food eating habits. Henry's finally reached skill level three on video games. Why don't you cook yourself a little meal of a grilled cheese? You can have a little grilled cheese for yourself. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a fire. Oh my gosh, my sim started a fire because he is this first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, someone extinguish this. Kelly, extinguish the fire. Extinguish the fire. Do not check on your children 
extinguish this fire. Oh my gosh, the, oh my gosh. Luckily we have fire women. Ingrid Nolvin and Stephanie are both here. The impeachers may have received an insurance payment for the items that were damaged in the recent fire on their lot. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we did not receive enough. I know I started this episode with 80,000 simoleons and now I'm at 76 because of how much my children cost me. What? Oh, Chelsea's cleaning up for us. She's putting it in here. Okay, now I'm gonna find out if it gives us money. It does not give us money. Everyone's lied to me that was like, it'll still give money if the Sims do it. No, it doesn't. And I have proof now. She's getting tense because she hasn't stolen in a while. Maybe tomorrow, it's a Saturday. You can go steal something, okay? It's New Year's Eve, yay! Okay, Casey will have a little New Year's Eve baby. <gasps> Casey, why, did you just pee yourself? I left you alone for one second. One second and you peed yourself. <sighs> All right, I need a break. Let's uh, let's go, let's go travel. We're gonna go travel. We're gonna invite Carlos Diaz. We're gonna take him with us. We're gonna go to a museum, Brindleton Bay Museum. She's gonna run in, hit the joint, get her steel on, and have a nice flirt sesh. It'll be a perfect day. All right, go go to attempt attempt to swipe that before anyone goes in real fast before anyone gets in there go to try try to steal this <laughs> giant thing she did she swiped an object without drawing any attention the item can be found in her inventory i bet she already feels good about things uh why don't you yeah invite him now in and talk to him bond you know have a little bond session with your with your date jace is here jace better not put a damper on this date jace is just sitting at the table behind them trying to flirt with her. Oh my gosh, who is this guy? <gasps> oh no, it's Fred Jensen. We can't talk to him, he's mean. You know what, let's just flirt with this guy. I don't care if there's other guys over there. Oh, he's mad. Oh, Jace is so hurt. You should have known Jace. You should have left her alone when she came here with a man. Oh my gosh, he's just straight up sitting here being upset and hurt that she keeps flirting with Carlos. Goodbye. We're gonna tell Jace goodbye after flirting with several men in front of him, but it's fine. Flirt more with Carlos. Do not involve other people in this. Oh my gosh, that's one of our children. I forgot his name, that's fine. He's really vibing her. Good job, finally, brighten his day. Oh, she needs to go. Okay, fine, we'll let you go to the bathroom. All right, she is having a good time, she's happy. I guess let's take you home. I do not want to go home because that's where all the children are. I'm fine. This is fine. We're fine. This is gonna be great. I'm super stoked. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that are broken. Look at this. They're doing their best to keep everyone holding it down. Oh my gosh, I'm stressing. I'm stressed out. I hate that all these toddlers are all making noises and doing individual things. They were all fine until I showed up and now they're all the worst. Ah! This is like, I feel like I'm juggling. I feel like I'm constantly like with balls in the air. What, I just tucked you in. So many toddlers and none of them are getting older. And we have one more coming in. And then we would have five toddlers, right? Five, that's too many toddlers. All right, also let's look at the inventory, all right? We have had her steal stuff. What did she steal? Okay, she's got $500, that's not bad for a steal. Oh, she was gifted this Jazz Cats from Santa. He gave her a $1,400 painting. We'll sell the gnomes. Casey, <laughs> Ch or Kelly doesn't care about the gnomes. All she cares about is making sure she has enough money to provide for her children. Return stolen object? You stole those objects from another house? You stole dirty dishes? Oh, come on. Got into labor. Oh my gosh, finally. Well, she's gonna toast to New Year to Wesley. And then we're gonna we're gonna have the baby at the hospital as, as we always do. She's gonna give a cheers. Happy New Year. She's gonna drink a, I'm a, Hoping that is not alcoholic beverage. That's our girl having a party up until that moment. All right, she kept her beverage in her inventory. She can pick up where she left off. Oh, she's taking her cocktail with her to the front desk to check in. Hello, I'm here to have my child. 
You crazy woman. She also cut in front of all of these other people. Okay, I guess we're gonna go have this baby now. She looks a little worried, but it's okay. Her Theo, who was her mother's lover slash doctor slash friend, is here to help. They're bonding over this. It's a boy. Okay, so let's look up a baby name from our chat, of course. Hey guys, so you're gonna see in a second that I name this boy baby a female name. At the time, I honestly just forgot that it was a male baby and named it a female name. Once I catch that mistake, I realized that it would be a really cool opportunity to have our first trans character on the show. So I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek heads up so that you guys aren't frustrated or confused about that choice. It did start from Kelsey error, but I think I wanted to use it as an opportunity to show even more diversity in the show. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, this is lovely. So it's in honor, name the next baby Ruth. She's going to be a fighter and supporter of women's rights. I love that. I will only protect and be nice to sweet baby Ruth. Um, thank you, Sophia. Perez for suggesting the name Ruth. Ruth and Peter Schmey, welcome to the family. She gonna be a fighter. Let's see Kelly have a moment with sweet baby Ruth. They match! Ruth is wearing a green little top. Do not attempt to swipe that! Do not attempt to swipe that! That is like the second time she's attempted to swipe an object in front of this man. Like, go into a different room if you want to steal something. He doesn't like you from last time you tried to steal something in front of him at the hospital. Alright, well we're back in the Peter Schmidt household, which uh, with one new child, so I believe that is then 74 children. We're getting close up there in the 75 range, which means there would only be 25 children left. So we've got uh, Sweet Baby Ruth, welcome to the Peach May family. We will be seducing more of your Sims in the next one and also looking at some new homes very soon for Kelly. So make sure to be adding your homes to the gallery with hashtag 100babys3 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the 100 Baby Challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, or check out some of our other videos.